Hello, hello, and welcome to Thrifty Art Thursday. This is episode five, and uh, today I'm going to be working on this box. I got it from a thrift store for like four dollars. And uh, although it's like it's a great shape, it's pretty sturdy. I like the size of it. I do not like the color. I am not Mrs. Fields, obviously. <laughs> and um, it is bright red. My camera, my face camera, the computer camera, for some reason is showing it pink. It's probably because I've been messing with my settings on the light. And so that's a little bit off. So it is bright red, like fire truck red. <laughs> So um, to just give you an idea, I'm going to use a Mandela stencil on it today. Um, I've been thinking what I could use this for. Like, um, I like to give uh, um, an item an intention uh, before I try and redo it in some way so that I know, okay, so this is going to be used for such and such so like i want it in, in these colors like um it probably would be great to have on a shelf for like uh toiletries in the bathroom and then i would probably go with uh, lighter very neutral like whites maybe lavender like you know like those colors but what i'm going to use this box for is that um, starting um, in, in March, I'm going back to Lazy Ass Farm Market, and I'm going to be doing henna mostly, but I'm going to have a small table with uh, some prints of my work, and I need to put them into something pretty. So I'm just going to, um, I think I'm just going to stack them in here. And obviously, I do not want my art in a bright red box that says Mrs. Field on it. <laughs> So I'm going to start working in that. Um, uh, I'm going to just give a little rough um, um, sandpaper rub on, on the name here. I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to paint it all black. So I'm going to make a black box. It's going to be black and it's going to be and it's going to have a golden mandala on it. So I'm just removing all the dust while I'm going. I do not know if one hour is going to be enough to do this, but we shall see. Well, if you guys are watching, tell me who you are. Say, say hello. I like to have hellos. <laughs> I like to know. Yeah. Okay. So this is pretty much done. I'm going to grab another one and just wipe on the inside. And while I'm doing this, I'm going <sighs> to. Here. Yes. If you're just joining me, this is what I'm doing today. I'm working on this red box. So I'm just removing dust and I've sanded a little bit on the on the sides. Okie dokie. So I'm going to be using acrylic. I'm going to be using chalk acrylic black and so first I'm going to paint the inside and then the outside so there's going to be a lot of just painting 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 um, I'm going to wet my brush because I do not want it to soak up all the black paint and so by making your brush damp you kind of fill that space with uh, water and then your brush doesn't soak up that much that much paint so i'm just gonna start doing that 
Uh, this is not going to be a hard project at all, I don't think. Because the sides are flush here. So I'm going to put a Mandela stencil when I'm done painting it black. So I'm going to add a Mandela stencil to it. And this is not something that would be hard to do. So there we go. Okay, so I'm in Central Texas, and the weather had gone wild. So around this time, usually, we have like, you know, weather in the 60s, and everybody's starting to plant their gardens, and um, all of that good, good and nice spring stuff. And we're having a, an Arctic storm coming through. So it's been like we have ice on trees. Our trees are iced. It's weird. <laughs> um, I should have should have worn a glove right away. I forgot. I do like to wear a glove with my stuff here. Okay, let me take this down. Whoops. All right, you guys say hi. Please say hi. Okay. Because I would like to say hi back. Anyway, the bottom is done. So I use over here in the bottom, these are extra large um, placemats. And I just taped them on the back with a piece of uh, painter's tape. And so they fold. They fold up when I don't need them. And I've been using them for my projects to just protect my tea bowl a little bit. Because, yeah, like this is my main tea bowl. I pretty much do all my work here at this tea bowl. So I don't always like to have paint splattered all over it. So I'm just going to Keep working on that. How's the weather where you are, guys? I was wondering, is it just Texas acting like it's drunk? Or is it like the whole the whole thing, the whole place? What's what's going on in your necks, in your neck of woods? I'm curious. So yeah. It's very, um, so right now, because it's cold and rainy and yucky, like the energy is down. I'm not as chatty <laughs> as I normally am. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm very chatty, but sometimes I like to talk. So I'd love to hear what's going on where you are. Okay. I think I might need to do something with this. I do not like it that that's because it's getting on the other sides. <laughs> Here. Super useful wipes. I use them all the time. You can, uh, they help me a lot with everything. Okay. So, there is another, oh, another side. So, I'm thinking that, of course, I think, I think I could have spray painted it, make it easier. But the thing that I noticed with spray paint is that then it's hard uh, to paint with acrylics on top of it because it's glo glossy and it's like water resistant or something. And it's very hard to paint on top of that. So if I was just going to leave it black, then maybe this would have worked. 
Or maybe if I wanted to like put the stencil on and then spray paint the stencil, maybe this would have worked. But for what I want, I need a little bit um, different approach. So I'm just going to continue with this. And this chalky finish uh, paint, it dries pretty fast. And um, if it's not dry to my liking, I can always use the blow dryer, like the, the hair dryer. I can always blow dry. Because, yeah, you, you want to have your acrylics completely dry before you put the next coat. Especially if you're putting a different color on black, you want to make sure it's completely dry. Okay, I'm going to grab a smaller brush from here. Where's my smaller brush? Here. Grab a smaller brush. And paint inside for these, for the handles, or whatever you call them. I told my kids that they're not supposed to do screen time right now, and I hear screen time, so I'm, I'm going to yell at them right now. Please excuse me. Hey, boys, I said no screen time until 3. Well, I hear something. I don't know what you're doing. You need to turn it off. Oh, okay. All right. Apparently, that was the computer work, not the screen time. Okay. All right. So the sides. So it's good. There is some. Okay. So I'm going to need this to dry. So I'm going to turn on my blow dryer and I'm going to put this inside of a wet baby wipe so that this brush doesn't dry out because this paint dries pretty quick. Okay, I'm going to turn on the um, ay -ay -ay, the muted for blow dryer banner and I'm going to mute
All right. It takes a while. There's a lot of paint in here, and it's all complete. It's not all completely dry, but it's workable. I can work around it. So I'm going to start and uh, paint one side at a time. And if I get some like uh, bleeding of the paint, not a big deal. I'm going to let it dry, and then I can sand it to bring it to where I want it. Okay. So, okay, let me check this real quick. Uh, okay, all good. All right, let's paint this other side black. Oh, I'm making a mess, but that's okay. So I'm just laying my paint thick, trying not to have any um, any water on my paintbrush. Just put on that paint. Not too concerned about the brush marks, the brush strokes, because I can always sand it a little bit if I wanted it to become more smooth texture, to have more smooth surface. Okay, this is good. I'm going to blow dry because I'm going to need to start turning things. So I'm going to do this thing again with the muted for blow dry, okay? All right. Okay. So now I'm going to paint the shorter side. And uh, I'm going to keep moving my brush the same direction strokes. So for me, it would be up and down. Just up and down like this. Just like that. Okay, now this side is not completely dry, the side that I painted before. See, it's glossy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the bottom, the bottom, bottom. Okay, so I'm going to paint that black also. I'm pretty much painting the base coat. And I'm making this whole box black as the base. I think it will be pretty cool when it's done. But um, I see that I'm going to need more than one coat to um, cover up this super bright red. Okay. Let 
on the top. Oh, put my hand on it. Not good. Okay. It's kind of the thing with these, with painting something like that. There's so many um, little areas, and especially when you're trying to paint the bottom and the inside of the box. Boxes can be tricky sometimes. So we're just going to let ourselves to have enough time to do that. I was thinking when I just uh, was looking at it and thinking what I was going to do with it, I thought, hey, maybe I should just paint like um, some floral design on it. You know, like add some peonies or magnolia blossoms or cherry blossoms, some sort of a, a floral. So see, uh, so the bottom is kind of covered, kind of. <laughs> it's going to need another coat. Maybe not as thick of a coat, but it still needs one. So I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to kill the microphone again and run the, run the blow dryer again. Where is it? Here. Okay, mute. Alrighty, so uh, this side is pretty much dry. There's a little bit here, but I'm going to touch this up. This side is not, but I'm not working on that side, so I'm going to paint this side right now. And I'm starting to think that I probably made a mistake by trying to paint this today because it's raining, it's cold outside. The humidity is up there, very high, and so that makes the paint dry time longer, and it doesn't cure as fast, it doesn't stick as fast to, to the object, so, or to the surface, I should say. So I am not sure what's going to happen with this, you know? Might be one of those things that will be finished later. <laughs> okay. All right. Gonna blow dry this again.
Okay, so I ended up turning up on my, by my blow dryer to like high, high uh, speed on a medium heat. Usually, it's not recommended. Um, it's usually recommended to if you have to blow dry your acrylics um, to use lowest heat setting and the lowest speed. But since just for the sake of this live. I kind of cranked up the heat a little bit to, to, to help speed up the process. And I'm thinking, here's what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to uh, just work on the sides, just finish the side, finish painting them, and then do the mandala and everything. And then let it dry. And then I'm going to work on the inside of this box and on the bottom because if i work on all of this simultaneously this lab is going to take five hours and i don't know if anybody would like to watch me doing this for five hours <laughs> so this is good this is a good coat of paint i'm gonna i'm just gonna flip it over because this side is dry so I'm going to set it down, just make sure my it sits on the dry surface. OK, now see over here, I don't know if you can see, let me take this up higher a little bit. Like there is a run over thing over here, which is why I'm going to grab my wet wipe and just clean the clean up the edges. Um, if if it happened to dry, like if you were doing this and it's already dry, don't be afraid to put a little bit of sandpaper on it. It will be fine. And, you know, you can always dry brush, uh, do the touch up if you need to. So this messy brush goes in the wash. That's it. I'm done painting for now. This is all good for now. So as I said, I'm going to work on the sides. And then when it's all dry, I'm going to do the inside and the bottom so that it's all it all has time to dry okay and uh, let me see somebody lynn hi lynn okay so as i told you i was going to put a mandela on here i have this stencil that i love 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 i got it on amazon you can just go on amazon and search for stencils and i think it's a pack of 12 and I, I really like like five of them it's really funny but they're really not that expensive you know like sometimes stencils are like tend to be expensive these are not super expensive and um i've used them quite a bit and i really really like them so i think now since this stencil had been used before it already has a coat of uh, repositionable adhesive. Let me show you the little, the spray thing that I use. Hold on. I can't do, like, I keep forgetting that I'm not an octopus. I do not have another set of hands. Okay, so this is going to stay put with the painters painters tape okay i'm gonna stand up so i can see and make sure that it's centered yeah it's pretty good okay so i'm just gonna put tape on it and then i'm gonna show you guys how you can Put a stencil on without bleeding. What to do to make sure that uh, your stencil doesn't bleed. Okay. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge here because it would not stick very well because there is a part dangling. So I will need to work it part by step by step, part by part, piece by piece, right? Okay. So, this, I am not affiliated with them. This is just something that I use. Adhesive, spray adhesive. This is what I've been using on my 
On my stencils, I put it on the back of my stencil, just a little bit, light, light spray, and it becomes slightly sticky. And then I would put it on my project and I press lightly to help it stick. Then you can use a paper plate for it. I just have this huge uh, palette tray, palette palette, I never know how to say that word, uh, for my stuff. So I'm going to squeeze some paint on it. And then I use makeup sponges. These sponges are pre-moistened, so they're already damp, but they are not wet, like they're not dripping. I keep looking at the camera and I'm not and I'm out of reach of the camera. <laughs> okay, so this is pre-dampened, okay? It's damp, not dripping wet. So here you can see probably, you should be able to see. So I'm gonna put it in paint. And now see how wet it is? This is not good, okay? So we're gonna offload it by going dab, dab, dab on the paper plate or whatever it is you're using. And maybe load it some more and then offload it there. Okay, so there is paint inside of this sponge. And I'm gonna start going very lightly, just making sure that my um stencil is lined up where i want it and so i'm just gonna start going lightly dabbing 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 my way through and this is why you want to another why why you want to secure secure your stencil to your surface with more paint so i'm going to reload and then offload if there's too much paint, you know what's going to happen. It's all going to bleed. We do not want that. Okay. All right. You just go like that. Dab, dab, dab. And you go pick up some more paint. Put it on your sponge and you keep going down, down, down. So the idea is to put very, very thin coats of paint. And usually I have to, to do this two or three times depending on, on the color, the paint and like all of that. But it usually takes two or three two or three goes to get it to the point where your colors show nice. So this was one, <laughs> this was one. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. Make sure that my stencil is as close to the surface as I can get it. It can be tricky, like right now it's tricky. There's no way I can put it down flat. Okay, sorry, I'm going to yell at my kids right now. Hey, boys, too loud. Um, yeah. So... Uh, don't drop it, don't drop it, keep going. Okay, reload. I think I put a little bit too much paint over here in the middle, but it's okay. I kind of want this box to look like it's that like I've owned it for years. I do not want it to look like it's, you know, a brand new box. So I'm going to do, later I'm going to um, sand it a little bit, you know, so to add some kind of, to make it look older. Add, you know, scratch it a little bit here and there. 
Okay, let's see. You ready? <laughs> okay, so as you peel, you want to start at one point and you want to go in the same direction. So don't go like peel a piece here, here, here. No, choose a point and then just lift. Look at this beauty, right? Okay. All right. So I sometimes would run like a paper towel or just my hand on the back of my stencil to just make sure that it's dry. And I would set it down. Maybe give it a minute. Uh, let me mute and I will use the blow dryer. Hold on. If I find all my things. All right. Okay. So this is done. The front. And so now let me see how this part is it dry. Nope. See, it's a little bit shiny. So that's not a good idea yet. But this side is dry. So I'm just going to flip it over. The shiny side up. You see a little bit. Yeah, it's not not a good day for the project, you know. Just kind of too wet. It's too wet. Things are not drying as they should be. But you know what? We got to do this one, this side. I'm not going to push it because I know that even if, uh, so with acrylics, they may seem dry to the touch but they're still not dry underneath the surface like there is still this layer that's not dry and um it will peel it will pull it will do ugly things so i'm just gonna stop right here <laughs> and um i've shown you how to apply um a stencil but yeah, I'm going to wait for this to dry and uh, take it little steps, like step at a time, because apparently this is not such a great project for that. And I was going to show you here. This is, oh, I didn't, I keep forgetting to take those stickers off. Oh, you know, I'll remove it later. So I picked this up at the store again, at the thrift store. It's bright red. If I take it under my phone camera, it shows that it's bright red. I will try and play with my lights to make sure that my my colors are better. And so I'm going to do something with this to be able. I want to put it on the wall and I want it to hold my little little bottles with acrylic paints. I think that's because it will hold like too deep. I'm here like this one yeah so I think it will make a, a nice nice little shelf for my for my paints and so this is what I'm gonna work on next time all right you guys thank you for joining me thank you for hanging out and I will I'll see you online some next time oh yeah uh, don't forget to Come paint with me on Saturday. I always, I try to have Saturday paint night lives on uh, Saturday nights. So go ahead and check out my events and uh, see, maybe you would like to paint something with me. All right. Stay warm.
<laughs> Bye.